right, everybody. It's March 6th, 2022, and we are going to be doing this aftermath video. I wish the piles of snow were like that everywhere in town, but unfortunately they're not. So yeah, it is uh, March 6th, and right now it's about 35 degrees. Not that much snow, you guys. Not that much snow. And I did not go through that. That wasn't a red light, you guys. All my tires had already crossed the uh, the uh, crosswalk while it was still yellow. You guys can go back go back and look. I swear I didn't run that light. But I had to say something because I'm sure people were thinking something. Anyway. Yeah, we didn't get much snow. But that's nothing new. This season really turned into a dud, didn't it? thing that sucks is that we got to wait a, another year. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful day, I'll tell you that much. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Once again, a reason why we're doing this direction around the lake is because we're going to be going against the grain of traffic, against the traffic coming in to town. If we went the other way around the lake, then we'd probably get stuck in some traffic. So we're just uh, going the opposite direction. here enjoying what little snow we have and as you guys know the further we go this direction the more snow we get without fail every time and as often as the sun rises in the morning traffic leaving town. I forgot it's Sunday. So that's probably what a lot of this is. So maybe going the other way would have been better right now, but we'll see. If the traffic's too gnarly, we won't, we won't go around the whole lake. But my goodness, what a gorgeous day. The skies are blue as can be. So we're going by the bowling barn right now. The super, the super cool dude, his name is Jason. Um, I was bowling the other night for my friend's birthday and I don't go out and do anything like that ever. And so it was a, a, it was a fun situation. And uh, But anyway, a gentleman working there by the name of Jason, I guess recognized me from, uh, from the channel. And long story short, I didn't have any tokens on me for the games. Um, and my friend's kids, they love playing those games. And so he overheard me telling one of them, I don't have any, any more cash on me. And he gave me like a handful of freaking tokens for the kids. It was just the coolest thing. Thanks again, Jason. That was super cool, man. I mean, that was just, what a beautiful thing to do. The kids were so stoked. 
my friend Kyle and his wife Ashley, it, it was her birthday. people there right now check it out very cool very cool and you don't have, you don't have to worry about the kids sliding into the road and getting hit by cars and stuff like that so I always suggest you guys go to these spots yeah they do cost a couple bucks but it's 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 well worth it and then also so the kids don't get totally exhausted just after one run because of having to hike back up that hill they have um, motorized walkways that pull you up to the top so they don't have to use any energy and they can just enjoy sledding the whole day. Maybe that's not a selling point for some parents whose kids are rambunctious as can be. <laughs> like, oh, they don't have to walk up the hill to get all that energy out of them? Well, maybe we're not gonna go. Not only are they not gonna burn any of that energy off, but they're gonna be full of adrenaline. again like I like I I know $70 that's a lot for a freaking beanie you guys trust me I know but it's not like I paid like three or four dollars each for these things I had that option for like really decent knit beanies really nice ones it was gonna cost I think like 375 each if I bought a hundred at least so I could have done that and sold them for 20 bucks a piece which would mean that I'm still making 300% more at only selling them for 20 bucks a piece than I am right now. Like I'm making, I'm selling them for exactly double what I'm paying for them. So, well maybe, yeah. So with everything, including the leather patch on the Merino wool beanies, um, it was like 33 or 34 bucks. But I'm not going to react how I usually react, you guys. Sometimes I want to turn off the camera because I respect you guys so much for being there for me and helping me so much that I don't want you guys to like see me be a total, total douche. So, you know what? I'm just going to have to suck in my pride. Dude, can you believe what you guys have done to me? This is, this is amazing. Like, this is, I am so grateful for you guys. Yeah, I'm just going to suck in my pride. And, uh... <laughs> as much as like I want to just see like I think about it a lot like <laughs> I get kind of road rageous anyway Boulder Bay is looking awesome right now seriously that is just such a beautiful place You know what, you guys, you need to be very careful on all these rocks. So right here, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure someone fell off of this rock right here, and it's not that high, and they died. So just be very, very careful. I 
can't imagine going somewhere for a vacation and not ever leaving. Ending up passing away. Oh my gosh, that would just, that would be... I just can't imagine. Anyway, I just want to reiterate how super disappointed I kind of am in the lack of snowfall. Since I've lived here, we haven't had any, like, monster storms. I think we've had, like, a, f a couple times, maybe three or four times in almost eight years, a series of, like, two or three, maybe four storms, just back to back to back to back, which have dumped three plus feet. But I've never seen anything since I've lived here where we actually got, like, four feet at, at a time. I've seen the three-foot mark a couple times, maybe twice. I've seen, like, two and a half feet probably three or four times, maybe five times. It's all on video. I mean, there's, I've never missed a storm. So you guys know how OCD I am about this. Self-diagnosed OCD, but still. Now we're all the way up to 39 degrees. I don't think we're, gonna, we're supposed to get much warmer than this today. Uh, it's back down to 38. The next few days, it's supposed to, to get a bit warmer. Upper 40s, lower 50s. So that'll, that'll be nice. It's just unfortunate that this time of year, after snowstorms, the temperatures rise fairly quickly. <laughs> Unlike December and January, coming into town there's no traffic I, I just I completely forgot that it's Sunday this is when everyone's leaving town everything was white man I wish all these trees were completely white I'm telling you man it's a real huge it's a huge difference the way that everything looks when we get massive snowstorms traffic. I bet it's going to be really bad going down the mountain, <clears throat> but we're not going down the mountain. We're hanging right here. Yeah, see, it's really, it's kind of cloudy in the little Arctic circle over here. So all those clouds, yeah, the, that whole drive down, that's going to be foggy as heck.
have to roll down the window here. We get get better views. I just want to set up the camera just to be viewing this side of the lake the whole time. This is just awesome. Clouds rolling in over Snow Summit right there. That is so cool. It looks like a fire. That is awesome. chairs are uh, completely blocked out by those clouds <coughs> so it'll be perfectly clear and then boom just right right into some thick clouds that's really cool
can't get through here without reminding you guys that uh, you don't want to speed through this town. Tickets are given out often up here. Not that they're doing the wrong thing. I mean, if if, if we're going to risk breaking the law, then you know what? Like, it's kind of a cat, cat and mouse thing. You know, sometimes you'll get away speeding. Sometimes you won't. You should always follow the law. I'm, I'm not saying ever go against the law, but um, I'm just... I don't get too upset with the police for for doing that and enforcing things like that because it ultimately does keep people safer. And that's all they're trying to do. That's all they're trying to do. Is just help us out. But thankfully there are people like that who are courageous enough to don those those blue suits knowing that a lot of people will probably give them crap and I don't I just never have found that fair. It's like these people go in there knowing that they're going to be given so much crap about absolutely everything all the time from all angles. And they're just going to have to swallow their pride and live to the beat of the law. But the whole point was up here, they, they will not hesitate to give out tickets because keep in mind, that's, that's a big source of income for our economy up here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but straight ahead, the snow summit. Oh my gosh, it just looks unbelievable today. The higher you go up, the wider the trees are. That's how I like the town down here to look when it's just, uh, just completely buried in white. Completely buried. There have been a couple huge storms where I, th I was probably the only one out there driving around. No chains, nothing. Creating fresh paths through like two feet of snow. No joke, the snow was above my bumpers and my cars lifted. It was like I was driving in a sea of snow. It was freaking awesome. And the vehicle made it no problem. We didn't have any issues, that was great. I'm worried about my sway bar again because it's making kind of similar sounds that it made right before it broke the, the last three times. And he didn't put on the sway bar extenders. So I'm just, I'm just really hoping that everything stays and maintains. I know he's doing the best he can, so that's all I care about. I completely trust him. He's such a cool dude. We go riding our Harleys together. Like, we'll, we'll go down to Cafe 247 fairly often and go grab some food. Obviously not in this weather. But we did go maybe three weeks to a month ago. It was nice. I enjoy those, those, those rides. It's not too long, not too short. Maybe it takes us like 40 minutes to get down there.
I'm gonna turn into a freaking McGriddle, I swear I am. I eat those things like they're never gonna make them again. What really pisses me off, oh my gosh, I just said pisses me off, and I just said it again. What really irritates me <laughs> is uh, um, they stop making it at two o'clock up here. That's the latest that they make the McGriddle for. They'll make other breakfast stuff all day, but they'll, they'll stop the McGriddle at two o'clock. And I mean, I should be grateful though, because when I was down the hill, coming back from my friend in the Rancho Santa Margarita, Mission Viejo area, I went, I stopped at a McDonald's, it was like 11.30, and so I thought I was golden. I'm like, yeah, boy, nothing can stop me now. Well, unfortunately, they said 10.30, they stopped serving the McGriddle there. So I guess we're really lucky that we have a McDonald's that helps the lazy people out a bit. So I appreciate that. Oh, that only gives us 58 minutes. <laughs> but who's, who's, who's counting? Go ahead. drive with uh, not getting upset with certain things. Very proud of myself. Ski resort action. Whoop. 
So who's gonna drive their nice car like like this vet in front of us up here during situations like like this? Maybe he saw my videos and thought, hey, I'll, I'll be able to make it, no problem. I just think that's nuts because it's, it's, it's not a cheap car. And accidents happen with snow. Anyway, you guys, we're off, we're out of here. Hope you guys had a wonderful, or are having a wonderful day. It's March 6th, uh, wait, yeah, March 6th, right? Yeah, I think. If it's not the 6th, it's the 5th. The year is 2022 in Big Bear, California. Peace out, everybody. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Hey, Bye. guys. <laughs> These are the beanies. So I'm going to post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them, too. Just absolutely stunning. These are stunning you guys as i said we got 96 of them boom shakalaka so yeah so these are these are the colors we've got hope you guys enjoy them love y'all